guys, welcome to Flat Tutorials, and this is how to make a card game episode 5. And um, uh, uh, I want to introduce some one new thing to you guys uh, that I've created this post on Unity Forums. The link of this post is in the description. And if you have any problems with the script that I'm creating in every episode, you can get that script directly from here. Uh, uh, like uh, I created in episode 3, I created this script, then you can uh, just Click on select all lines and you can copy that script and test it out. Camera script is here. And uh, uh, this, when this video will gonna complete, I'm gonna post uh, everything related to this video under this uh, under this thing. So let's get back to the coding. All right, now, um, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna make these car wheels spin. And uh, yeah, so uh, the code that we're gonna be writing uh, the, the, all the code that we're going to be writing are going to be inside of the car controller script. So let's open it up. All right. So now take uh, four variables, name it var, wheel, f, l, trans. There's going to be a transform variable. Transform variable. Now copy this whole thing. Paste it. Name it fr. And then. Copy this complete thing, paste it, name it RL, RR, done. All right, now let's go on to the unity. And now when you go to the car, you can see we have uh, four empty variables over here. Now we need to assign them. So just go onto the wheel transforms and drag all the trains from wheel transforms over here. L, FR, RL. RR. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. RR. All right. Now, now let's go over here and go uh, create a function update. Sorry. Create function update. Function update. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna we have to rotate uh, a transform. So we're gonna use a simple way to rotate a transform, which is a transform dot rotate vector three. So let's do it. Okay, so wheel fl trans sorry trans dot rotate. It's gonna be on x axis, so it's gonna be an Euler angle. So uh, let's take uh, it as a wheel fl dot rpm times 60, you know, by 60 times 360, times time, dot delta time, oh, oh my god, sorry, times time dot delta time, end of the statement, all right, now you can see that we have wheel FL transform rotate wheel FL, FL, wheel FL is a wheel collider, and the uh, RPM is um, Unity is an inbuilt parameter inside of Wheel Collider, which calculates our, uh, calculates uh, how fast uh, car is moving. And uh, I hope that you understand this code. So let's check it. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't turn it to vector three. Now zero zero done. All right, now you can see we're gonna. It. All right, now hit play on the. All right, now let's see if it is working. Okay, well, which tire is FL? All right, I can see that that tire is spinning. You can see there's a spinning. And that's what we want. Now let's uh, go over here and apply this to every wheel that we have. Okay, so in order to do that, just copy this whole line. Paste this line over here. Name it FR. This is also going to be FR. Uh, uh, copy this whole thing. Paste it. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it was going to be RL. This is also going to be RL. This is going to be RR. This is also going to be RR. Now let's test it. Uh, Let's hit on play. Let's see. Let's see. Working pretty cool. Now 
this just adds some more realism to our car. Now let's test it on the scene window if it is really working or not. Oh my god, got one perspective view. <laughs> That's kind of funny chasing a car like that. Alright, now let's go and talk to him. Alright. Alright now. I hope you like this tutorial, so that's all for this tutorial. In the next episode, I'm going to tell you how you can uh, how you can steer your wheels. Means um, we have a steering right now, but how you can uh, make uh, the wheels physically steer. Okay. So uh, for that, I'm gonna uh, uh, I'll teach you in that in the next episode. Well then, goodbye and do all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. So. Bye.